welcome to John's Addicted Adventures. Oh, yeah, new permission, new farm. is that? Now, I don't know if it's real, but it's really fancy. Look at that, guys. Whoa, is that a real amethyst? Don't know. Oh, little Lido, look at that. I don't even know what it is, gold or what. We better check that out. Might be plated, but it still looks nice. Woohoo, beautiful or what? Yes. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, if you look down there very carefully, we have a clay pipe bowl. Look at that. Oh, wow, look at that, man. Clay pipe bowl. 17th, 18th century now. Silver coin coming out. Uh, oh, yes. We have a rare Edward the Seventh. Oh yes, and it's first time on for me. Ta da! Silver six birds, and it's a Edward the Seventh. That's Victoria's first son, Bertie. Pocket watch, winding key. So, mm -hmm. yeah, see that down that hole there? I found a spoon and handle to go with it. Of the 18th, 19th century. Well, after this all that came a badge. Interesting. Some sort of society of some kind, but we'll check that out later. Interesting. Victoria, the old head, or well, the old veil, she's got the black veil on as the uh, Victoria. Ha <laughs> ha! This footpath just keeps giving. And another sixpence comes out of actually Victoria later period sixpence she's got the old veil on after 1893 onwards it usually has the veil on oh look at that <laughs> a shilling a shilling of somebody but who till the shilling <laughs> ah, ha, ha. there we go brilliantly done <laughs> Hey, silver, would you believe it? Wow. Ho oh, ho, and it's nice to finish up with another Victoria, but a shilling this time, I think it's 1890 something. Ho oh, ho ho ho, shilling of Victoria. <laughs> a nice end to the detecting deep. Superb. <laughs> well, it's John Bradbury, and I'm back for the final history count up what a day put path on here that's all i've done uh started about two o'clock in the afternoon don't know what time it is english time because i know my stomach's rumbling so it's time to go home but this is the count up and what a count up again can't believe it just can't believe it all these stuff that's come out of this footpath where it's supposed to someone else has done it but it just shows you don't get everything just could take your time be meticulous i took it really nice and slow and listen out for the signals i did dig a lot of trash out to let you know tin cans bottle tops a lot of trash iron so i wasn't without trash but what a day i just buy this <laughs> so footpath was definitely on there as we found out with the history that's come out i think we got it down to george the third uh, with obviously Victorian silver. Might have to come back on this, but I've just found out that across the road, because I'm on a road now, look, there's an eel on the other field across it with another massive footpath. And then the footpath down there goes miles. Oh boy, have I got a lot, a lot to do. But here we go then. This is what we found. Look, check this out, guys. Wow, terrific time. It's a clay pipe that 16th 17th century clay pipe guys some sort of pewter probably 18th century it's 
some sort of badge. You know? And then we've got the, they said uh, buckles, buttons, all different variations of buckles. And then we've got copper coins, a uh, pocket watch um, key winder. Haha, <laughs> look at that. And of course, this is the all the coins, shilling of Victoria. It's the old veil. As you can see, old veil. Edward the Seventh, absolutely superb, yeah. So three, two different monarchs there. Eh? Is it gold? What is that? Got to clean it up and find out. Might be plated. Looks nice, but it's definitely what you call a watch fob. That's the finds today. And another day come, brilliant day comes to the end. I loved every minute. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you. And another exciting adventure. It just keeps coming. These these uh, these adventures of mine and these machines just awesome.